What's up guys? I'm gonna do a little video explaining a huge problem that I had with the MacBook Pro and how to remedy this problem because Apple doesn't tell you, there's barely any videos on this, there's barely any articles with concrete information on this, and there's just this very simple fix that, you know, I, I had to go through this to help you guys. So let's get started. It's super simple, this is gonna be super quick, okay. So this is a 4K monitor here, okay? 4K monitor, it's a Dell U2718Q. This is an excellent monitor if you're someone who likes to edit videos or you're into design. You just need a monitor that has 4K so you can do 4K video editing on it, um, as well as uh, pretty good color accuracy and some Adobe RGB uh, standard. I think it's up to 80%, it could be a little bit lower. Um, I haven't completely calibrated it with any type of like spider or color monkey, but that's coming in the mail So that should be nice. To, that should be ready to go because you want to color calibrate this monitor with your MacBook display So when you have two of the displays open You're not kind of messing the colors up. You, you need to do that, especially if you're into design um, now the first problem that I had was basically that this thing here I thought this would be good enough to output 4K. So it's got this HDMI thing on it, and there's a ton of dongles like this that you can get that Apple sells, uh, you get them at Best Buy. There's tons of different dongles. They go USB-C all the way up, and then you can connect two uh, USB-A 3.1 ports, as well as uh, USB-C power in, and then you have the ethernet and the HDMI here on uh, this, this side here. The problem is, when you connect it to USB-C and you connect HDMI into your monitor, it only outputs at 30 hertz. And that is completely unusable in any scenario. It sh they, shouldn't even, they shouldn't even make that. It doesn't make any sense. So I was looking up, because when I connected it, I was like, why is this at like 30 hertz? This doesn't make any sense. So when you connect USB-C to HDMI, it's completely unusable. Now you can use a USB-C to HDMI and get 4K at 60 hertz, but you need an HDMI 2.0 cable, which I had and it's basically useless. So if you're gonna connect your MacBook Pro to an external monitor, do not use HDMI. Don't use HDMI uh, 1.4, don't use HDMI 2.0, just don't use it. There's a better way to do it and I figured it out. All you need is this cable here which is a USB-C to display port cable and I'm gonna flash the one that I purchased from Amazon which was only like 15 16 bucks uh, and I'm gonna put that on the screen now there's a whole bunch of other ones that just came out that are USB-C to display port and it works perfectly fine it works exactly how it should work you basically just plug it in and it just outputs 4k it just outputs whatever the native resolution of your monitor is at 60 Hertz um, because if you go with HDMI, you have to go into the settings, you have to change these things around, and it's just, it's not how Mac wants you to do it. Mac wants you to connect DisplayPort, uh, USB-C to DisplayPort, and um, that's basically it. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me upset with Apple. It, it, it should be able to just output HDMI 4K 60 hertz, no problem. But for some reason, because of the the SIP or the system integrity protection that comes out of uh, the MacBook, it just messes things up. You, I couldn't even run Final Cut, not even in 30 hertz. It just wouldn't work. But when you connect it to this, um, when you connect it to USB-C to DisplayPort, it works perfectly fine, and I haven't had any issues with it. And I mean, you can still see here, like if I open this up, it'll just, it, like it just works. It just works really good. So boom, there you go. HDMI, it's a whole problem. You have to go into the terminal, change some settings just to output what you want. And uh, hopefully this video helps some of you guys out there. Just get USB-C to DisplayPort, get it from Amazon, it's very cheap. And if you're going to use like one of those docks, like those Belkin docks or one of those Silverstone docks, don't do that because it's way too expensive. They want like 300, 400, I've seen one at $500 for these stupid docks that just don't make any sense. Get this cable, it works good. I'll catch you guys later, peace.